Welcome back. Now, archaeologists trying to shore up a medieval monastery's foundations have stumbled across an extraordinary find, a Cistercian abbot who's lain undisturbed for up to 900 years, complete with his crozier, his staff of office. The remains were unearthed at Furness Abbey, and before they go on display for the Maybank holiday, our reporter Fatima Manji has been there for an exclusive first look and to find out what the skeleton tells us about the abbot's health and habits. They sit, they walk among the ruins, but no idle talk is heard, to grave demeanour all abound. And from one voice a hymn with tuneful sound hallows once more the long deserted choir and thrills the old sepulchral earth around at Furness Abbey. It was here Wordsworth found a safeguard for repose and quietness. Ruins, silent and motionless. But this was once an abbey filled with activity. Founded in 1124 by King Stephen, the abbey became one of the wealthiest and most influential in the British Isles until its dissolution at the hands of Henry VIII in 1538. Hundreds of years on, parts of the abbey are now sinking into the ground and its foundations giving way. English heritage began emergency conservation work and archaeologists came across an incredible find. We were surprised but we were also very pleased because we don't get to find such exciting burials and such important people. The body of an abbot that could date back as early as the 12th century. But just who is he? These bones are being carbon dated to try and pinpoint when this man lived and died. Uh, this is a condition called DISH, uh, which is associated with obesity and middle-aged onset type 2 diabetes. A portly gentleman, but also one that carried great political weight. It's extremely rare to find such a burial. Naturally, he's an important person. He's a member of the Cistercian order, which was the most powerful monastic order in England. He would have had estates across the Furness Peninsula, into Cumbria, Lancashire, uh, into Yorkshire, control over large amounts of resources. He was a bit like a feudal overlord. A powerful but perhaps pious man. He has arthritis in his knees, possibly from praying a lot. And there are other clues about his piety. Curator Susan Harrison says his ring could have been deliberately painful as a reminder of his oath to God. It was found on one of the fingers of his right hand and it's got a point behind. Can you imagine how uncomfortable it would have been to wear that? Also buried with him, this staff of office. A crozier, its head delicate and almost uneroded. This is a rare and exciting discovery from a national heritage site that's hidden away in the depths of Cumbria and little known off outside of the area. But what will happen to the find and will it even stay here? It's always appealed to the artistic, but overall the Abbey attracts few visitors. The new discovery could create a surge in the tourist economy, but local supporters fear the find may be taken elsewhere. This is a golden opportunity to put this Abbey on the map they, are, they, are, they belong to the Abbey and they should come back here and they should form the fa main focus of the advertisement to promote the Abbey nationally and internationally. That's something English heritage like the idea of, but there's no commitment yet. We may never find out exactly who he was, but centuries on from his death, the Abbot may once again hold the key to the Abbey's prosperity. Tonight's main news, the Home Secretary Theresa May looks to be on a collision course with the European Court of Human Rights over the deportation of Abu Qatada. You can follow us both on Twitter and, of course, Channel 4 News continues online, channel4.com forward slash news. But we're back tomorrow at 7. Until then, from Cathy and from me, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.